Okay, welcome back to another video. Um, this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble um, box protectors and display stands from my game vault. So they do sell many different cases and box protectors, um, as found on the eBay store. So we, in this example, we have the Game Boy or Virtual Boy case, a Super Nintendo case. Yes, yeah, so basically, um, these have got like a locking tab on the bottom, which is uh, the same as the original original game boxes. No, this isn't the best condition, but this is the first game I've grabbed. So you have to basically lock the tabs together like this um, to save, you know, a bit more protection. The game won't fall out the bottom of the case. Now these cases are nice and thick. Um, they're 0.5 mil, so they're nice and sturdy. So if you dropped it on the floor, I think it'd be okay. The game isn't gonna get damaged inside. Um, yeah, so uh, ideal for keeping your games in good condition. So this is how they come, flat pack like this. Um, they have got a protective film on, as you can see. We'll pull it off in a little bit. Um, so I just want to show you how they arrive. Again, the Super Nintendo one is exactly the same. Um, also NES, PlayStation, um, Mega Drive, Genesis, Amiibo, lots and lots of different cases, um, all with the same design. Uh, locking tab system and how they go together. So basically this is just to show you how to put the cases together um, And it's kind of like, you know, once you've seen it, you know how they all go together. They all go together the same um, They do have it does have some other cases which are literally just the simple, you know Locking it's the normal tab and flap like a normal game box which don't require any further explanation But you know this will show you how to assemble the cases in the best way Okay, so let's crack on. So we'll uh, go with this one first. So what you want to do, you just get your hand inside like this. I know it's difficult to show you when it's quite clear, but you kind of just bend it up and put it like this, bend it the other way and back again, just so it's kind of in shape, like so. Now, obviously everything is very rigid. So what you want to do is fold everything in and out like so. Back, and fold the other end down. So they're quite thick. So bend it in, bend it round. Makes it much easier to put together. Same as this side. Tabs in, tabs out. Now with this one, I'm just going to bend that in, and then fold the top lid over like that. So it's all got a bit more, a little bit more movement. Okay. So now this is the point when you want to take off the protective film once you've bent everything over. Now if you look closely, you'll see there, that's where the edge of the film is. So I'm going to try and do this through the camera lens if I can. So once you pull this off, it'll be a lot more glossy. So it just pulls off like so, all the way around. Including all the tabs, any, uh, any bits of stuff, just to give it a little bit of persuasion. Right side, so discard that. Okay, just check you've got any bits left uh, on the edges. No, so you can see now it's nice and glossy, nice and shiny. Okay, so now for the part, oh, bit there. Right, so now this is how you put the locking tabs together. So what you want to do is this side out with these two top ends like this, fold that in like so, okay? Then, let's see if I can get you into focus a little bit here. So this locking tab goes under like so, hope you can see that. And again, this side, let's just see if we can focus this in a little bit. It's very hard with the glare. So locking tab goes like that under there. Okay, now what you do here is you have to kind of just bend this out a little bit. Now I'm doing this with the camera lens. So that will pop behind like that. You see that? So now it's all a bit pressed in. But don't worry, because as soon as you put the game in, that will push that back down. Another top tip is put the game in, a bit of plastic there, 
so this this part isn't going to catch on the front of your box so what I wouldn't recommend personally is putting it in this way so when you so this part is then going to get in interfere with this I know this isn't the best condition game as an example but some games I assume you're going to have in decent condition you really don't want to damage your box so what I would recommend is you put the game in this way around so pull it flat back like that I've still got a bit of plastic stuck on there so there we go so that goes in there then when this goes in this is going to push that see that once that's down just like that and then tabs over like so like this now when you're tucking this part in like this you're not damaging the front edge of the box so it kind of goes in like that and there you have it that is all locked together nice and straight really good fit as you can see and like you say that's not going to come out so you can stack it however you want and you can see that's a really good fit Again, I apologise that the glare plays havoc with the focus on the camera as well, which doesn't help matters. Okay. So that is how they go together. Now, when you're opening it, obviously, you're not, if the flap was this way, you'd be dam risk damaging this edge of the box, like I said before. So just, you know, get your hands in, two fingers like so, and just pull like so, pop out. No problem at all. Game comes straight out. So that's the uh, the Game Boy one. Now we'll quickly go um, over to Super Nintendo again. Same process, but it's a little larger, so it might be a little, a little uh, sorry, a little easier to see. So just run through the whole thing. So again, put your hand in, just force it over and back again, just so you kind of get it, you know, fairly. You don't want it all kind of like this, you know. You see that? Just kind of get it straight as you can. Bend the flaps in like so and out again. This one I kind of just kink it like so and then fold the, the end tab over. Okay. Same with this side. The sides. You know, don't be scared of it. Just get in there and bend it over. It's not going to cause any damage. I think it's going to snap. Okay, so now at the point where everything's got a bit more give, we just need to take off the edge film. So look for the, the line, which is just there. You see that? So pick away. Like so. Again, just make sure you get it off. Does it all uh, annoy you? Like so, discard that. See a little bit there, just stuck on there. Just make sure you get these little bits off. There we go, nice glossy case. It's the same as before. So you don't want this side yet. You want to have this side with the two square lugs on the end. Push that in first, okay? Then get your side tab and just pop that in like that. It's probably a little bit easier to see than the Game Boy one. Like so, okay. Again, a little bit of plastic stuck on there. I'll get that off in a bit. So then this one, so you can see it's not, if you force that in, it'll probably all fall, fall to pieces. So you just wanna try and curl that in like so. Once that goes, it's all gonna look a bit chaotic like so, like before. And again, when you put the game in, that will straighten out. So, same rules apply. Again, I'd recommend putting it in front of the box facing, like so. So. Put that in there. When you push this in, that all goes down. Fold the box isn't great on this one. Fold the tabs over. I am again doing this through the lens. There we go. You had a little nice little pump, uh, clip there. That is all together. Just 
just like that. So it all goes together nice and straight, nice fit. And that is how that is how that goes. So that's how they go together. Now, is that going to focus any better? Okay, so that is the Super Nintendo protector. protector. Same again, same as the Game Boy. It goes together the same way as do uh, majority of the other cases um, that my Game Vault do. Now, display stands. So they come like this. It will come to you like this, wrapped in a bit of cellophane. Okay. So what you need to do is if you look, if the camera picks this up, there's a chamfered edge. This is the chamfered side, okay? So you need to have this locking part will sit. So you see that? So it fits in like so. Let's have a look on the focus. So obviously that's where your game's gonna sit. As you can imagine, it's gonna wanna sit something like that. Yeah. And then you want this part is gonna be behind it. Now you can have it straight up. So you have it nice and straight. Or if you wanna have a slight angle, then there's also um, an angled side like so. So that's kind of what you're looking to achieve. So I want the slight angle on mine. So this is obviously the top half. And if you can see, that so that actually goes in there and you twist it to your desired location so obviously the, with the size you can have something really slim in there or you can go right up to you know what fit most of the larger uh, game boxes doesn't fit a console it's not as wide as that but it'll fit any big box like mario paint or something along those lines so again you can just literally just twist and move to get your size you can shuffle it back like so now they are quite stiff at first, once you get used to it, it's a lot easier. So at the minute it's got a fair bit of movement, but we can literally just, with a case protector on, you know, oh, not going to damage the box. So just get it thereabouts, move it around a little bit to you fit in. Yeah, that's near about, so something like that, and then that should, if I just gingerly edge it back a tiny bit more. There we go. So a little bit of uh, effort required, just moving it back. But now, that's a nice fit there. Doesn't need to be right in, just needs to hold the bottom and you'll get the nice angle on the display stand. So if you've got a favorite game, you wanna have displayed on the shelf, you can at such an angle. Or if you would like, you can go flat obviously you can spin that round and have the flat side against the box but to save time i'll just pop that straight in so you can have it just like that so it sits up right like right, so and again you can have anything in there super nintendo nes game and watch whatever you like this is one of the larger size um, stands he does do smaller ones which i've actually got the game and watch on at the moment this is the larger one of the two just to give you an idea so easily fit super nintendo so for displaying games it's perfect so there we go that is how you assemble the box protectors and display stands um, from my game vault um, hope you enjoyed this video okay cheers guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in a bit